Hello friends, this is Dr. Naveen Agrawal. I am an international cardiologist practicing at Valsad and Vapi district of Gujarat. My topic for today's discussion is regarding what is zero oil cooking, how exactly it is useful, how exactly it is not practical, what are the pros and cons of this issue and uh, the people who are promoting this, I agree that it is a good concept and of course all of us know that the larger amount of oil we consume, the worse it is for the body, the more amount of harm it will cause to the body the more amount of uh, problems and health related hazards diabetes hypertension heart attacks brain strokes all sorts of problems it will cause to the body that is why it is often recommended that we use as little amount of oil as possible in our day-to-day -day cooking and other practices but today we'll be discussing this topic from a different sort of an aspect i would be discussing how practical this is concept is and why exactly do i recommend to cut down the oil rather than cooking completely zero oil on a long term basis because what I feel that cutting down on the oil consumption is much more practical approach as compared to what uh, is the uh, concept of zero oil because I do feel that people will not be able to maintain the zero oil cooking more than a few days majority of the people might be able to maintain it for a few days maybe 10 to 15 days especially after a heart attack when they are having the fear factor of the heart attack for the first 10 to 15 days or one month when the fear factor is there in the patient and in the family that they are fearing that they have had a recently had a heart attack only at that point of time because of the fear they will be following the instructions but over a period of time as soon as the fear subsides so will the likelihood of the patient continuing the zero oil cooking be much lesser that is why i'll be discussing this topic from a much more practical standpoint although i'm not opposed to this concept if at all patient can do maintain this uh, zero oil cooking for a prolonged period of time and they can continue with zero oil for the lifetime period it is good for them because obviously oil is not doing that much of a benefit to the patient and rather uh, the more we consume the worse it is for the patient but today we'll be discussing how practical is this approach this topic is going to be important and clinically useful for you so i would recommend you to see the video till the end the people who are new to my channel, I would request you to subscribe to my channel as this gives us a lot of inspiration and motivation to continue the channel in future. If at all you have any patient related queries or comments or other topics on which you want us to make more videos upon, you can write to us about them in the comment section below and we'll be happy to take up those topics in future and also your patient related queries also we will be trying to answer. Coming back to the topic, I have a strong opposition to this zero oil concept not because the thing is not bad for the health of the patient and it will harm the life of the patient if at all the patient goes oil deficient there is nothing known as oil deficiency in the patient so uh, the lower the better oil that is the most practical approach but the problem is that zero oil cooking i feel that it is not a very practical solution because majority of the patients will not continue this and majority of the patients will only maintain it for the first 10 to 15 days and you should realize that reduction of oil or cutting down of the oil will have beneficial effects only if it is maintained for several years maybe for the next five to ten years if it is maintained then only there will be some plaque reduction there will be reduction of the progression of the atherosclerosis and there will be reduction in the risk of heart attacks but that will happen only when the practice is continued for several years if at all you are maintaining a diet restriction for 10 days or 15 days or 2 months then it will have hardly any benefit and the benefit will be even much less as compared to what the benefit is given by the medicines in this regard that is why i would recommend the patient to cut down on oil choose as minimum possible oil as minimum possible of fatty food as compared uh, to what they normally do but don't try to terrorize the patient don't try to uh, intimidate your patient don't try to force your patient into completely consuming only boiled food because practically speaking zero oil food is only and mostly boiled food only because majority of the other foods and other snack foods of course all of us know that 80 to 90 percent of all the indian foods is predominantly snack or junk food uh, but i would not recommend you to take those snack or junk foods on a regular basis but it is not very practical for the patient to stop it for his lifetime because majority of the people have been consuming that sort of food for the lifetime and if at all we try to cut it down on a regular basis and we try to stop the patient from consuming even one uh, sweet food or one junk food or one uh, bit of oily food then it becomes a very important source of depression in the patient and the patient over a period of time will get aggressive and violent and over a period of time the patient will stop all his dietary modifications he will start to take addictions also and he will stop his medicines also because he will not cooperate with you because he becomes so depressed with this sort of uh, food stuff on a day-to-day -day basis that over a period of time he will never uh, you will never be able to achieve his cooperation for a prolonged period of time and as I have told that 
the benefit of this approach and benefit of zero valve reduction will only be there when the patient is able to maintain this trend for at least 10 to 15 years. And I guarantee you that 99% of my patients whosoever I have tried uh, or though themselves have tried to make it their food completely zero oil or boiled food, the patients are not cooperative and beyond one to two months they will all go back to their old foods and this time they will come back with a vengeance that now I will not follow uh, whatever happens will happen even if I die also I will not be able to follow this type of food because this food is not compatible with life this is not food which is meant for human consumption so people will become so adamant about this that over a period of time you will not be able to get any amount of cooperation for this and the things which are more important that is the diet uh, as compared to the diet which is the exercise taking of more nutritious food stopping all addictions taking medicines on a regular basis do, uh, going to follow up a lot of these things are equally important and once the patient goes into a no cooperation mode he will not be able to follow all the other instructions as well and over a period of time whatever little benefit you will get even from the zero oil consumption that also will be lost because of the fact that the patient will go into a no operation mood so i have seen a lot of patients who become so adamant that uh, over a period of time they start consuming alcohol start uh, stopping all the medicines and they do not even come to the doctor even for two to three three years some of my patients return to me after three to five years uh, of having a heart attack because of the fact that they become so uncooperative family people keep on telling them that you have to go to the doctor you have to get your health cell uh, your health checkup done you have to get your body evaluated you have to get your heart evaluated you have to get your stent evaluated but they will not cooperate because they do not want to listen to the uh, talks of the doctor they do not want to cooperate and they do not want things to be enforced upon them predominantly this reason is a very aggressive uh, dietary intervention which the family relatives follow a lot of times i have seen family members who they totally change the pattern of cooking of their entire family and the entire family is just burdened by the uh, oil free food uh, at the end of the day you will find a lot of nutritional deficiencies also in the patient and you will also find nutritional deficiencies in the family members also because of this habit of taking uh, completely useless and uh, totally boiled food boiled food one or two days five days you can continue you can maintain for a few days if only a fruit based diet or only a vegetable based diet you can continue for a few days but you have to give the patient some amount of liberty that he can have some cheat days some amount of snacks he can take some amount of oily food he can take so that he can satisfy his appetite also so that he can satisfy his taste also he should not be burdened and he should not be cursed to die in uh, like for example if you are putting a patient into a jail and you are sentencing him to take all the bland food for the entire lifetime it is that sort of a uh, restriction which the patient feels and over a period of time uh, he becomes so aggressive and so uh, retaliative that he will not cooperate with his relatives, not cooperate with the doctors and all the other instructions will also be stopped. That is why what I recommend is that whatever preparations you are doing, continue with the same. All, only the oily foods, junk food, fried foods, you try to remove them from the diet and try to cut it down. You cannot prepare all vegetables completely oil free because most of the time it will get burnt. People advise on the internet that you use water to fry foods. It's a practically a useless idea because it's uh, completely stupid that you will be prepare, able to prepare any junk food with only water. It's not possible because the only it will look like a samosa or it will look like a kachori or it will look like a, uh, the same food which you are preparing but the taste will be entirely different the patient will never be able to consume it and he'll throw it away he'll say that you only eat this food and rather he will lose his appetite also which will cause much more amount of depression much more amount of nutritional deficiency and excessive body weight loss will also be there which can be detrimental to the survival of the patient in the long run so the benefit is almost negligible the loss is very much in this regards that is why I don't recommend the concept of zero oil cooking because it is not a very practical solution for majority of the foods maybe 20% or 30% of the food items you can prepare with zero oil or you can use minimum amount of oil but majority of the times most of the Indian food will be uh, containing a large amount of oils or some form of oil or th uh, things will go be going although it might not be visible on the upfront some sweets or some uh, chocolates or cakes or whatever the patient is taking it might be having some carbohydrates it might be having ghee or it might be having some other sorts of fats which might not be visible to the patient but indirectly it will be going into the body so 
I would recommend is to take the usual amount of food is the normal amount of diet cut down on the calories maybe you can give the patient a practical solution that you cut down on your oily food or junk food by maybe 70% 80% you cannot cut it down by 100% 100% is never a practical solution because you cannot change it uh, completely this doesn't apply to addiction addiction of course you have to cut it down 100% because addiction will have that additional kick factor and their motivation factor which will drive the patient towards the addiction if at all he is consuming even 10 to 20% and if at all he does consume the uh, alcohol and smoking for maybe 10 to 20% of the times also then over a period of time it will keep increasing as the fear factor subsides but for oily food the same factor does not apply because it is not uh, causing any um, withdrawal symptoms and it is not causing any uh, craving in the patient only thing is that uh, you can ask the patient to uh, uh, cut down it down on a more practical approach and you can uh, try to reduce it by maybe 70 to 80 percent and that will help the patient over a longer period of time and there are much more chances that the patient will be able to continue that lifestyle modification for maybe 20 30 years and at the end of the day the word benefit it will accrue that is to be important to be discussed because a lot of people feel that if at all we follow dietary restriction it will reduce all the existing blockages and the, all the blockages will disappear uh, there is no study which shows that any amount of dietary restriction or any food which we are taking that will uh, reduce the blockage even by 10 to 20 percent and even it will not be able to reduce the plaque progression to a hundred percent so at the end of the day medicines also will not be stopped so medicines also need to be continued although the doses might be reduced but it will not be completely stopped so there is not much of motivation be behind going a hundred percent oil free you can cut down the patient's oil consumption by maybe 80 percent or 75 percent that is a much more practical approach and allow the patient some cheat days allow the patient some cheat snacks and chum times to cheat uh, uh, in terms of his strict dieting approach then the patient will be able to maintain it for a longer run and the benefits also will be much better the nutritional deficiencies will also not be there and the patient will have a much more healthier life as compared to a patient who is uh, enforced upon with a completely zero oil approach something will be advising to the patients that uh, they can go completely uh, into plant-based oils or plant-based foods and start to take a lot of mono unsaturated fatty acids like avocado oil and uh, olive oil Th that is a much more better approach whenever you are it is possible for you you can uh, bake the foods or you can roast the foods with minimum amount of oil consumption you can uh, air fry the foods if at all it is possible uh, that would reduce the oil consumption but uh, making every day a completely zero oil food I don't think that is a very practical solution and I think that the people who are advising them <coughs> that is uh, completely a non-practical approach which almost 95% of the patients will not be able to follow although some people will criticize me for criticizing this uh, dictum there are some people who have previously whenever when i had uploaded this video in hindi the people had criticized me for this because there were one or two people who were being able to maintain the zero oil approach for a few years or months and they said that i am doing it so other people can also do uh, practically i would say that if few people can do other people can try doing it but my practical uh, experience is that 95 percent of the patients would not be able to maintain it for a longer period of time so do whatever is practical for you for a longer period of time do whatever is more achievable for you do not set unrealistic goals which i don't think you will be able to achieve or maintain for a prolonged period of time because the benefits will not be there and the disadvantages will be a lot more as compared to what you usually think at the end of this is dr naveen agarwal and i thank you all for a very patient listening if at all you have any comments queries suggestions pertaining to this topic or you have any other topics on which you want us to make more videos upon or if at all you have any patient related queries feel free to write to them uh, to us about them in the comment section below and we'll be happy to answer all your comments and queries and we'll also be trying to answer all your patient related queries if at all that is practical for us thank you